uh, now is a good time as any to start documenting. It's uh, 10 o'clock, July, I don't fucking know, 12th or something? I don't know, it's Wednesday, whatever that is. So we're outside Cosmos. You know, it's not amazing pizza, but it's decent. The reason we're here is because we're going to stay at a Marriott. Room for the night. Uh, the reason is Alex and her mom both have COVID. So I'm staying here. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Maybe I'll go camping. Here we are in the residence in on points, baby. Prove with pizza. Uh, <laughs> my plan did not work. I got fucking COVID. I woke up at the hotel. My leg was really crampy. I was like, man, my leg is fucking cramped up. And I thought, oh, it's just this bed. You're fucking not used to this bed, whatever. And I started sweating. And I started getting the chills, you know, the normal, you know, the symptoms. Yeah, I was like, fuck, I definitely have COVID. So I went home and at that point I just stayed home nine days ago. Today's my first day of getting a negative test. First day I haven't really like felt. Uh, not awful, but like, I could just tell something was up. I did not not die. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Alex is good. Alex's mom, not amazing. She's older. She has health issues. And we are monitoring her super close. Vaccinated. She's everything we can do. So we're doing everything we can. Today is Friday. I am finishing the lookbook that's going out to friends and family right now. It is an AI drop. Uh, it's taken me a long time to get it finished. That's what I worked on pretty much from bed all week as I canceled appointment after appointment after appointment. So I kept thinking like I'm gonna be fine tomorrow. I'm gonna be fine tomorrow. And every day it just kept kicking me in the fucking dick. That's where we're at right now. I guess the best way to describe it, to explain this is to just tell you. There, when I opened the shop, um, a bunch of people obviously start coming by. People want jobs, people want to learn how to tattoo, people want to sell you stuff, like all kinds of shit. So initially, a couple of dudes stopped by. One dude named Eric, and one dude named West. And brought me art to, you know, basically been like helping them like critique their work. And neither of them are tattooers, they, they want to be, but you, know, you gotta get your drawings and shit right first. So I guess I'm in a position where I'm going to open it up to allow them to hang out and see if they can get themselves to a point where they can start learning how to tattoo. I don't really know why I'm doing it, really other than to help two people out who wanna learn and are showing up every day and asking questions, and I guess it just is what it is. I mean, the easier for me to build a good tattooer to work at the shop than it is to hire someone and undo all their bad habits. to Coheed and Cambria. Urn is in town. It's natural. I'm here. Natural habitat. Man, this is crazy. Yeah. Backstage, it's been a minute. Lights everywhere, we got shit everywhere. There's gonna be like 4,000 people here tonight. We're back in Colorado. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so the tattoos are like pretty like. Yeah, they're pretty on point, huh? Oh, you should have a dirty urn placard for the door. Yeah. You should just get one and take it with you, you know? Got corn pops, avocado. You wanna know how to get a rock star body on the road? Just don't show this, can we blur this out? Why? I don't know, after the tour it doesn't matter. Because sure. you're not supposed to, it's not supposed to, seriously. I'll zoom in on your face. Yeah, no, but it's uh... Well, so what's gonna happen when I'm raging in the pit and then my thing comes up? People, people see can it. see it, but it can't be like online where someone can get a clear look. But what if, so what if I post it to my Instagram? That's a problem. No, don't post it. I won't. It. I can hear the show starting. I'm rolling up dirty urns weed. I'm just, you know, 
It's working. working. He handed me mushrooms. He said it was a micro dose. I'm tripping my fucking ass off. Man. Back in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, where you are for a few hours. Just a few hours, and then out to Salt Lake, then California. Salt Lake, L.A., San Diego, Berkeley, Seattle, and then Troutdale. I've been to Oregon. Old Troutdale. I've never been to Troutdale. That sounds like a great place. Yep. Oregon, a name that is filled with the magic of the West. Home. Coheed is going on, but uh, Alex's mom is going back to the ER. I got a one sad Fiona. Huh. Waiting on your mommy, huh? Huh? Yeah? She'll be back. I got you on the vlog right now, but I had to I had to do this unveiling with you because I figured you let me phone a let me phone an expert real fast, you know, before I pop the box. Be beard's looking good. I mean it's nothing that hype or anything. It's just, you know, I feel like you'd be surprised. Those are bangs, dude. Yeah. I've been uh, I've been on a sneaker buying hiatus recently, so I just moved them actually in my new apartment right now. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not moving for a while now. These are less red than I thought. What are you? With the podcast. Soon enough, dog. Aren't supposed to come back. When are you flying out? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to be out there, dude. As soon as I get settled here, I got four weeks of vacation with you, and I'm definitely coming to check you out. All right, hurry up. I'm working on it, dog. I'm busy. Shit's crazy. I'm doing it right now. We're here right now. Look. Coming. She's all right. Yeah, her mom's back in the hospital, so. Yeah, it's non-stop, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Well, you look good. You look happy. That's what's up. Yeah, dude, I'm doing pretty good. What hat are you wearing? Is that an Adidas hat? Ah, uh, hold up. I was going to say. No. They make hats for big-headed people, and I got all this hair. Oh, were you growing it back out? No, nah, it's just I'm revolting. This is my artist phase. When I go into art phases, I start to look homeless, so people respect the artistry more. Nobody respects art from a clean-cut dude, you know what I mean? Yeah, you need a wizard experience. Whenever JC makes an album, he stops getting hair. I don't know. Does, who cares what Drake does? You're a big Drake fan, aren't you? Drake probably just starts stops making out with dudes when he makes an album, so he <laughs> so he can be sad and have something to yearn for. <laughs> how's, how's, how's Omar, dude? How's young boy? Omar, if all with all the life changes, has turned to the pipe. It started with the beers. Well, look at you. It's not even 9 a.m. and you're already falling down. former heavyweight boxing champion <laughs> oh shit model what other attributes former landscaper future Wanna former landscaper wannabe painter no you are painting i am painting yeah i mean technically if you can complete a painting you are a painter aspiring to be better painter and aspiring to be tat daddy <laughs> all these things are yeah. true we got our former drug dealer eric <laughs> former What's up, world? Uh, former street pusher learning the Fucking lay it down. Do well, you want anything else other than former drug dealer? French bulldog owner. A a fucking guy. skate, bro. Oh, yeah, skateboarder. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, good skateboarder, actually. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Fucking. Wait, you losers don't follow each other on Instagram? Damn, it's like that. I've taken on two people so I can start on a, a double dragon scenario. At the end of double dragon, you fight with your brother the whole game, and at the end, you have to fight each other. Neither of these people are used to having a camera in their face. So, we're here at work, and it is, what is today? Friday. Today is Friday. And we've been sitting around, and we're talking, and this gentleman here, Eric, thinks that he can beat me in Mortal Kombat. I it's think it's like, a possibility. It's not. Watch out, man. I'm just saying, we've been here before. These hands have been out since never, I was like three years you've old. You've never met Ern. You don't want the same fate. Thought about this. This man went out and bought Mortal Kombat. <laughs> First off. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've assessed the situation. Yeah? Which character are you going to use? I don't know. 
You know. You seem like you have a plan. Noob Cybot, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Luke Kang's cousin. You're dead. Hat? You're dead for sure. Soon enough, we'll have a we'll have a challenge. But Sick. I'm just making record that we have another person on Earth who's trying to challenge my Mortal Kombat skills. I'm honored. You you will be dying with honor in this situation, sir. So be it. If that's the case, yeah. we'll see. Death comes for us all. Do you even know what dumplings are? I do not. I've never been to a dumpling place. Damn, son. You eat pork? Uh, yeah. All right, cool. I fuck with pork. You never had a yeah, pot sticker? I've had pot stickers, yeah. Right, pot these are the best pot stickers yeah. in America. If it's good, then I'll take my girlfriend there, I decided. All right, we're going to see if we get the girlfriend challenge. Yeah. If we win. We'll see. I'm trying to win the girlfriend culinary challenge. <laughs> oh, snap. Living up to the hype. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your girlfriend or what? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Got these boys full of dumplings. Well, I'll put them to work. Get those flash sheets painted, goddammit. Mm -hmm.